Hello everybody, I am, well, Gareth, the Master974, the Inadequate Streamer, whatever you want to call me now, and I am back with another Hammer tutorial. I think I promised at the end of the last one, which is, or which was the propeller trap and the soda machine, that I was going to look at the Combine Ball Spawner. Now, I don't know if I actually, you know, agreed to look at this one, but it's been like eight months since I've looked at it or something stupid like that so we're just gonna go ahead and look into it so there actually is only one minor fix you need to do to get this to work and I'm gonna show two different ways of doing it but I think one doesn't do it as well as another so just a good test is to just drop in a weapon fizz cannon just as is and then put an env global in with an initial state of on and the super fizz gun enabled and set initial state checked in the flags that way the fizz cannon is the super fizz gun as it would be in the citadel at the end of half-life 2 and i've also thrown in a little logic auto to actually turn the ball spawner on now i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to sort of impose game footage over this so hopefully around now you can see that i'm actually testing this out but the combine balls are actually sort of disintegrating immediately upon spawn and that's not what you want so one of the fixes is to use a filter combine ball type so you just put that somewhere in the level i just like to snap it to the grid for convenience and name it filter underscore combine underscore ball call it that or what the name of this sorry i need to go under objects because the trigger V physics motion has a filter of filter combine ball, so you want to name it that exactly. Because the trigger V physics motion is what kills the player and disintegrates the object. Then you've got the physics trap. No, the oh, sorry, I'll, let me correct myself there. The V physics motion is what makes you go slow when you go into this, so what slows you down and what causes the combine balls to actually move up. Then the physics trap disintegrates the player and anything else that touches it, although it doesn't disintegrate the combine balls, and the combine ball spawner spawns the combine balls. So anyway, go to the filter, name it, just allow that, yeah, and not thrown. That is what you want to set. So if I test this level now, I should superimpose some of the game footage over this as well. You should see that the balls do spawn, but if you throw them back into the fields, they begin to disintegrate. And that's not what you want, because you don't want the balls to just like, you know, get thrown out, and then when you throw it back to the field, it just disintegrates it. So that's the sort of partial fix for it. So now I'm going to move ahead, go ahead and delete that one. And we're going to move to the entity that I selected first, which is a filter activator class. So this is more of the legit fix for this. So again, you want to name it the same thing. The filter combine ball. Now this time you want it to set to, you want to disallow the entities. And then prop underscore combine underscore ball, I think it is. And then that makes it work. So if you go ahead and save the map and compile it now, you should see that you can take the balls out of the field and actually throw them back into the field without them actually disintegrating when you throw them back through. So hopefully this tutorial has helped you out with how to actually fix this combine ball spawner for the Citadel style levels. I've just made the default level here. But um, if you want any more hammer tutorials, let me know. I'll see you in the next video, whatever it might be, everybody.